Tenerife, the largest of the Canary Islands, known for its paradise beaches, is currently experiencing a disturbing increase in the activity of the Tidy volcano. Scientists are alarming. The increase in seismic activity, ground deformation and changes in gas emissions indicate that the volcano is coming to life. Are there any chances of Teide erupting in the near future? Teide in Tenerife is the third highest volcano in the world. Although its peak is only 3,718 meters high, measured from the ocean floor, the volcano is about 7,500 meters high. Teide is an active volcano. And its last, fortunately not dramatic, eruption took place in 1909, which was a lateral eruption. It occurred in the El Chiniero area, about 10 kilometers northwest of the main crater. This eruption was relatively small and did not cause any casualties or serious damage. Due to its history of devastating eruptions, especially the one in 1706, and its proximity to several major cities, Taide is considered extremely dangerous. If Taide were to erupt, the consequences could be catastrophic for both residents and tourists. Tenerife is home to a million people, while receiving over 10 million tourists a year. What could indicate that Teide is awakening? Seismic activity under Tenerife has been increasing continuously since 2016, and has seen a sharp increase since 2022. And in recent weeks, things have clearly accelerated. Observations over the past few weeks, especially a series of shallow earthquakes near Tide, suggest that intense magma movement is taking place beneath Tide's surface. Furthermore, one of the most obvious signs of volcanic activity is ground deformation. Seismologists have reported that Tenerife has recently risen by one centimeter, which may not seem like a huge change but is evidence that magma is accumulating beneath the island. Geodetic measurements indicate that the deformation is spreading across the island, suggesting a wider increase in pressure beneath Tenerife. If this trend continues, it could cause cracks to form that allow magma to escape to the surface. In addition to the earthquakes and ground movement, scientists have detected significant changes in the chemical composition of gases released from Tide's fumaroles. In Las Cañadas, the caldera surrounding the 16 by minus 11 kilometer volcano, emissions of sulfur-rich steam have increased, indicating that underground magma is heating a hydrothermal system. The head of the National Geographic Institute in the Canary Islands says it's only a matter of time before Tide erupts. We know that there will be an eruption in Tenerife. The events leading up to it could happen in two years or in 50 years, he admitted. It is also difficult to predict the nature of the eruption itself. It could be a small eruption from a secondary vent or a larger eruption directly from Teide itself. What would an eruption mean for Tenerife? If Teide erupts, the consequences could be catastrophic for both residents and tourists. Computer simulations suggest that lava flows, pyroclastic clouds and toxic gases could affect the main tourist areas near Tide. In the event of an eruption, the northern part of the island is at greatest risk. The southwestern part of the island is particularly exposed to volcanic ash. In addition, the ash clouds could disrupt flights throughout Europe.
There is also a risk that the eruption will generate seismic waves that could trigger landslides and tsunamis. The massive eruption of the Cumba Vieja volcano on another Canary Island, La Palma, in 2021 is a stark reminder of what volcanic activity can do to the Canary Islands. On September 19, 2021, La Palma's Cumba Vieja volcano, the most active on the archipelago, began an eruption that lasted for 85 days. It was the longest and most destructive volcanic eruption recorded on La Palma. The eruption displaced about 7,000 people and destroyed more than 3,000 buildings. The lava covered an area of more than 1,000 hectares, 2,500 acres. The lava flow was about 3.5 kilometers, 2.2 miles, wide at its widest point, about 6.2 kilometers, 3.9 miles, long, and reached the sea destroying everything in its path while creating a new peninsula and a vast system of lava tubes. The town of Tadok was completely destroyed by the lava. While there is no evidence that an eruption of Teide is imminent, one thing is certain. The volcanic giant of Tenerife is not sleeping.